It's been a while since I've wanted to just show you guys what I've been sewing. I've been just kind of wanting to do the projects. So for this video, I'm going to do it a little bit differently and I'm just going to do everything and do a voiceover later. So <laughs> welcome my voiceover voice. I guess let's get started on what I'm actually doing here. So right now I am taking a pattern piece that I made this fall slash uh, winter and I am taking this and I'm modifying it just a little bit so that I can make a skirt that I can wear for the summertime. I have a perfect fabric that I want to try out and see if I can make this the way I wanted to. I have this tracing paper and I want to use this to kind of do my patterns from now on. That way it's a lot easier for me to make adjustments and it condenses a lot smaller than the muslin that I've been using in the past. So I'm just taking all of my pattern pieces and I am placing it under the tracing paper so that I can trace everything out. I can make those modifications really easily and get this pattern to what I want it to be. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do is make sure that I add more of a flare to the front and back panels. And then I also wanted to add a little more length so that everything kind of fits me a little bit better than the skirt I initially made. Now looking back on the skirt, I could have added just a little more of a flare, but I think it still came out pretty good considering this was like the first time of me making adjustments to this skirt. Looking back on this, I definitely could have added a little bit more space in the hip area, uh, at least a quarter of an inch, and I feel like that would have made the perfect amount of space um, to be able to put my hands in my pockets. I think that was like the only thing I had an issue with once I finally finished everything. Another little modification I could have done was add a dart in the back of the skirt. Um, as you can see here, it has a little bit too much of a curve and I found that that ended up being an issue with the zipper and where it ended. It would end up causing this pucker in the fabric where you would kind of see really distinctly where the actual zipper ended and I didn't like that. So going back onto this pattern I probably make that change that way it's not as defined where that zipper ends. Now that I've traced everything out and have all of my pattern pieces the way I need them it's a good time to cut them out and get them prepped for actually cutting out the fabric. All right, so I wanted to get all of my pattern pieces together. So I have the one that I drafted and the one I'm gonna be using for the shirt is going to be Berta pattern 6820. And I'm gonna use that for the top. So I wanted to show you guys what I'd be using for these two patterns. I have the two fabrics that I wanna use and then I have a zipper and I wanna put all of that together and make an outfit. It, in my opinion, it doesn't quite match, but it goes together perfectly <laughs> somehow. And I really enjoyed like wearing this and I felt so comfortable with this. But it's definitely pieces that I will be looking forward to be using uh, throughout the summer. The first thing I'm starting off with is the shirt. Since I knew I would have a little bit of an issue with that, because the fabric is so stretchy and really thin, it's kind of a sheer like knit fabric. And I wanted to make sure that I would be able to sew everything together without getting too much puckering and um, the fabric getting caught into the sewing machine. So what I did to help me with this was take a little bit of my tracing paper and just place it underneath the fabric so that it can help guide the fabric through. And I would just tear off the pieces afterwards. That way it makes it a lot easier to get nice clean seams and not have too much of just like craziness going on in the fabric. This is not necessary for this fabric, but I wanted to serge all of the edges just to make sure they were nice and clean. Now that I had the shoulder seams together, I could actually go and put the sleeves in. Now this, I wanted to make sure I was really careful with it so that it would have as little puckering as possible. So I took my clips and I slowly but surely went from one end to the other of the armhole and just made sure that I eased it in. I wanted to make sure that I actually pulled the fabric that way when I was sewing it, it would actually stretch out and fit in there the way it should. So I went ahead and just clipped everything together and got it over to the sewing machine and sewed that. 
And of course to help me sew this together, I did use the tracing paper and I used one of the lightning stitch on my sewing machine. It's very similar to a zigzag stitch, but I used that to help uh, guide the fabric through. And wherever I ended up like ending at the end of the paper, I would just tear off a piece and put it underneath there. And that definitely helped me guide the fabric through without having any puckering or having the fabric go down into the pleat. Next it was time to add the collar band and I did this by making sure that it was on the right side of the fabric and I just folded it in half to make sure that it lined up with the front and back center seam and then I just evenly spaced it out along the whole neck hole. I ended up deciding to use a contrasting fabric for the neck hole just because I didn't think I would like it using the same fabric and I had some of this black fabric that I just had in my stash so I went ahead and used that. Now this part did take me a second to decide on but I decided to add uh, the contrasting color for the cuff. Um, for the pattern it does say to just fold it under but I knew that wouldn't quite work with this so I decided to put the contrasting color cuff on there and I left it a little bit long that way if it's a little bit chilly I can pull it up over um, most of my knuckles. In the end I opted out of sewing up the bottom hem and I just left it as a raw edge because it's a knit fabric kind of like a power mesh it's not going to fray so I decided to just leave it as is. Now with that done I was able to finish the shirt and now we can move on to the skirt. With my skirt pieces all cut out, I went ahead and interfaced most of the pieces. Now I made sure I interfaced the facing as well as where the zipper was. I did make a mistake and put uh, interface on the other side of where the zipper was, but it ended up not really mattering. So right now I'm going to start with the pocket for the side panel. And with that, I'm just lining up the notches that I have cut into my pattern pieces or my fabric pieces just to make sure I line them up in the right spots. So I went ahead and pressed the edges of the top of the pocket just to make sure everything lined up. And as you can see here, I also have some interfacing of where the pocket attaches together. Um, I like this way of doing this pocket on it. Um, I've done some other things that are kind of similar where you have kind of like a lap pocket but I prefer this version. Now starting with the bottom of the pocket I'm just searching the bottom edge that way it stays nice and clean and then I'll go and stitch down the top of the pocket so that that stays in place. And while I'm doing that I also stitch together the pocket so that that is one whole piece now. After finishing the side panels I am going ahead and adding the back panel to the side panel and doing that for both sides. After I finished sewing and serging off those edges, I just took the iron and pressed out the seams so that it was going towards the back. Um, I did notice that there was a part that was a little misaligned, so I just trimmed that off. With having the curve in the first panel, I wanted to make sure that everything lined up, so I was taking my clips and just clipping along each of the side just to make sure everything lined up. Now it's time to sew up the facings. Now I did have some trouble figuring out which was the right side of this and I don't think I even still figured it out even after sewing it together. But I put the pieces together and then I sewed each one of the side seams. This it ended up being three pieces. There was one whole piece that went from basically the pocket from the left to the right and then it I had two pieces for the back. So now I'm just going ahead and prepping the skirt by attaching the facing and making sure that the seams line up where they need to. Um, I'm using the clips just to hold everything in place and then I'm going to take the back of the skirt and line everything up there making sure that I put a little bit of a marking of where I want the stitching to stop for where the zipper is going to be. Now I want to try to take some time to prep the zipper. So now what I'm doing is taking the iron and folding out that inner edge of the zipper so that it moves it out of the way so when I'm sewing it actually goes very close to the edge and you get an even better installment. Now I'm just prepping the facing by ironing it down so that I can get it ready for an understitch and then I can attach the zipper in. Starting from the bottom of the skirt I sew up all the way until I get to the notch where I need to attach the zipper in and I make sure that I backstitch at the front and at the end. 
Before attaching the zipper in, I make sure I switch over to my zipper foot, my invisible zipper foot, and place that into the sewing machine. So what I want to do is make sure that I align it up with the edge, and I want to make sure that it is close to the seam, which is a half inch seam allowance, so that means I have to place it about an eighth of an inch away from the edge and then I just sew along that making sure that I fold the zipper teeth away from the actual needle that way it's very close to the edge but it's not sewing over the zipper itself I will say this is probably the best zipper I've ever put in that seam is really close to each other I do have a little bit of an issue zipping it up but otherwise it's pretty good so now I just want to do a top stitch or a stay stitch for the facing to make sure that it stays in place and doesn't flip up while I'm wearing it. So now it's time to finish off the hem and I just did a top stitch around the, the bottom of it and finished it off. And with that guys, here's the final outfit. Now I do say that this came out pretty nicely aside from that back zipper, which you can see is just poking out ever so slightly. Um, I do have to figure out what I need to do to correct that. But otherwise, I like the skirt and I like the top. They don't necessarily go together, but I do like them as separate pieces. But both of them are very comfortable and I love wearing it.